everyone, I'm Arunima from Netunata and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the foundation single crochet row. Uh, this is an important technique which uh, I've learned along the way and it helps me a lot when I'm making single crochet foundation rows and uh, the best part about it is that I don't have to keep track of my chain. I'm not uh, that is that seems to be the hardest part for me to make sure that I have the right number of stitches on my chain the night and uh, I get my foundation row right so this technique helps a lot so here it is it's not it's not hard at all uh, I'm going to start with making a slip knot here it is and so, so what we are really doing with this foundation single crochet row is we're making the base chain and the first row of single crochet stitches together at the same time. So you start with making two chain, one and two, and then we'll find the first one, we'll insert a hook there, yarn over, pull through, make sure it's not tight and then yarn over chain one so that right there is the bottom chain so that is the first chain that we made for the bottom of the uh, for the bottom of our foundation row so this here is the base chain and on this side is where we'll make our single crochet so here you go so this this is the base chain and this is one single crochet stitch so this is how it looks at the bottom and this is how it looks at the top so I'm going to continue making these so how you make the next one is you f you just made that base chain so you find the two loops uh, here uh, well one loop but two, two vertical bars here so you pick both of them and you make the base chain there so you pick both of them yarn over pull through again make sure it's nice and loose and then chain one and then yarn over pull through two so this is how it looks with two stitches so these are the two base chain stitches and these are the two top single crochet stitches so that's one and that's two I'm going to continue making a few more so you can see how it grows so again find the two bars of the chain that you just made yarn over pull through again nice and loose yarn over chain one and yarn over pull through two so that's three foundation stitches sorry three stitches in the foundation row now this is the fourth chain pull through two the fifth again find the two vertical bars right here and yarn over pull through nice and loose chain one and pull through two so we'll keep going and you can make as many stitches as you need in your foundation row without having to deal with the initial chain and then making your foundation chain all over, um, foundation stitches on top of that so here So I'm going to stop here. I have lost count. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches. So you can see that this is nice and stretchy. If you make these tight, um, the uh, foundation row won't, uh, it'll be a little warped. Like it will be like this instead of straight. And if you see the bottom is almost like a chain. 
here and the top is a row of single crochet stitches so work to work on top of this you just have to say if I were making uh, another row of single crochets on top of it I would just turn chain one and then make my single crochet stitches so I'll make one row here So here it is, one row of single crochet stitches on top of the foundation row. So if you see that foundation row chain looks just as it would if you made the chain first and created single crochet stitches on top. And this is the reverse side, this is the front side. So that's, that's pretty much all there is to make uh, the foundation row. If you have any questions about this technique, please leave me a message and uh, I will get back to you. And I have other tutorials on my channel. So if you're looking for something, uh, you're welcome to check my channel out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.